Palumbo here with another installment of, wait a second, can you do that one for me? Go ahead. Dave Palumbo here with another installment of Muscle Surfers University. There it is. Thank We're here you in so Daytona. <laughs> That's the Daytona it is. Reptile Show. What's up everybody? Welcome back to another Burton vlog. We got a special surprise for you guys today. As you can tell, I am not in my regular vlogging spot. We are in Daytona Beach, Florida today for the National Reptile Breeders Expo. It is going to be a crazy show. Some of the biggest breeders from all over the country are going to be here today. So we are thrilled to go in and hang out with them and spend some time looking at the reptiles that they're working so hard all year long to produce to bring to this show. Without further ado guys, let's get on the road, let's get to the Ocean Center, and let's get rolling. Alright guys, we just got here. We're walking up to the Ocean Center now. I just ran into Powerhouse and Matt Bio, so we'll catch up with them when we get inside. right in the front door and I immediately ran right into Dave Kaufman. How you guys doing? Go ahead and let them know what channel to follow in. Where are they gonna find you at? Dave Kaufman's Reptile Adventures. One of my other hobbies other than reptiles, I don't think there is anything other than reptiles. Okay. In uh, fishing. Fishing. There you go. Uh, I like to go fishing, yes. Yeah, that works. I'm a marine biologist. Are you really? Yeah. Yeah, well I'm from, I live in Minnesota, so okay. you don't buy a fishing license. They actually take away your driver's license right, and right. kick you out of the state. <laughs> the law. Right, like walleye, muskie, is that what you mean? Absolutely, yeah, yeah, yeah. Northern? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah that's awesome. So there it is. Okay, great. I successfully answered the question. Okay. Uh, one more question. One more question. I won't question. take it too long. All right, all right. Okay, what's one place that you haven't been to yet that you'd like to visit? And then what reptile do you want to see? There? It would be Daytona Beach. <laughs> uh, you know what? I ha I have this trip planned for March. Okay. Yeah. Yep. Ghana. All the white mountains There you go. Stuff. Yes. Okay. I, I tear apart termite mountains with my bare hands. So exactly. There you go. It's going to be excellent. Okay. Awesome. 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 Well, awesome. awesome. You guys heard it, obviously. But I'm sure you know what? The, the, we're not booked yet, so I mean, don't. Yeah, 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 yeah. So like, if you're gonna like subscribe to my channel because I just said that, we'll pencil you. Everybody in, in March is gonna be like, he didn't yeah. go, unsubscribe. Still, you right, just, yeah. just subscribe to Dave Coleman's Reptile Adventures just for his New Caledonia videos alone, let yeah, alone yes. hundreds of other. I don't know how many he's had, but he's lots of videos. I think a lot of great content. We have 109 now. So yeah, yeah, definitely subscribe to him. I'll put links and stuff in the description. Not like he needs it, but oh, oh well. I need it. <laughs> At 28,000 so, yeah, subscribers. Uh, yeah, so. you know what just happened, and I will and I will say this right on your video. I, so I, just, I frequently check my subscribers. Do you do this? Yeah. yeah. Okay. All right. All of a sudden, it went like down ten subscribers in like five minutes. Really? Like I'm I like, hate uh, it. is everybody walking around here? And I'm like, Dave, Dave, and I'm like, who this asshole? I have no idea what just happened, but I just lost ten subscribers. So please subscribe. Uh, right, yeah, thanks a lot, Dave. Yeah, good running thank, Yeah, thank you very much. All nice right. meeting you, man. Good meeting yeah, you. Good guy. Guys, you won't believe it. I walked right in the front door, and after we ran into Dave Coffin, we found Brian Cusco. Dave, Dave, Dave's wearing a really ugly shirt today. I don't know if you saw that. It's a yeah. pretty, pretty gnarly shirt. I don't know what he's doing. I saw the triple B TV, and he's uh, catching some footage here with his drone. He's getting a time lapse. With All him. right, guys, we just met the real Tarzan. This is Mad Bio Reptiles. We got Not Ignore Reptiles, Ha Ha, and Burton Vlogs. But we're out here with Tarzan, just chilling and talking to him. He's been coming here for how many years, is it? Six years. Six years. That's dedication. That's dedication. Gotta enjoy it. A lot of reptiles, a lot of cool people. Come, come on and see us, man. I already know. You'll be here. You guys know what it is. We're standing here with David from Tiki's Geckos, the what one up? and only. He's got some cool stuff he wants to show us here today, guys. Yeah, for sure. So, everybody loves Deadpool. He's one of our red striped gargoyle geckos. And he's a special, special animal because his red is just super bright as you guys can see right there. Yeah, that looks incredible, man. Yeah. Wow. 
That's, that is popping. That's our Deadpool. We also have another one of our red striped gargoyle geckos. It's Scarlett Johansson right there. Can you guess why I named her that? Why is that? Because she's super hot. Yeah, I hear that. Because of the red, man. Because of the red. Yeah, right? She's a little crazy right now. That's a little hyped up. Yep. She's camera shy. Yeah, that's, that's what it is, right? So, <laughs> look at that red on her. She also has some crazy colors. Wow. She's a flyer, man. Wow, yeah, look man. at her go. She, she's... There we go. Stay still, mama. Yeah, hopefully you get a good shot of her there. there. Right there, gold. That's golden, man. Licking yeah. the lips and everything. <laughs> I Scott love it. Jay licking the lips. Uh, I love it. I love it. Thank you so much, man. No Guys, problem, check him out. Tiki's Geckos. He's on Instagram. He's on Facebook, I'm sure. YouTube also. A little bit of everything. Everything, man. Only here in Daytona. All right, guys, I'm standing here with the world famous Vin Russo, the boa constrictor god. Vin, what can you tell us about what you brought us here today? Well, you know, I brought a bunch of stuff and I put a lot of emphasis on blood boas, leopard boas, uh, my coops pastels. Um, as you, yeah, you can pan down and show them off. Those are incredible. Um, and the, these here, these uh, leopards with the salmon and also hyposonoria in them, they, they glow. I mean, the colors. Are, are as they get older, do they do they start to they get open up? I mean, there's an older one here on my background. Oh, wow, that looks yeah. crazy. And that, that one's on my website. Well, it's more on my Facebook page and stuff. So. But the color. But, and I'm nice. also working on trying to intensify the red on my blood bodies, which you can see they're pretty red. Yeah, they look incredible. Yeah. yeah. What can we expect from you? Well, and, oh, and also I'm working on my Sterlings and Russo The Russo Sterling. Reds, yeah. yeah, those are those are world famous, man. Yeah. Very cool, very cool. Thank you for taking the time, man. I do appreciate it. No problem, it. man. Anytime. Dude, 300 bucks. Those are nice for 300 bucks. Which ones? These ones. You should get one. I really should. I might, man. <laughs> I'm trying to find a bullet cash for this. <laughs> well, you're the first one here, so. Oh, really? The first one to stop by? Yeah. Sponsorship you guys. Yeah. Sponsored Edge will pay for your trip. Sponsored by Cutting Edge Herd. We'll pay for your trip to um, Orlando. <laughs> <laughs> it's 10 minutes up the road on the Greyhound bus. <laughs> A site from 2015. <laughs> yeah, the, the, no, I can't. Everything's on my Facebook page. Have you seen that? Uh, no, I have not. No? I, I'm I'm not active on Facebook. No. Uh, well, you know it is Facebook. Younger people aren't really on Facebook. So yeah, yeah. It's for old people, right? <laughs> I wouldn't say old people. Yeah, come on, let's not sell I'm everybody not short. Old. I'm still in my 40s. Yeah. Guys, I had to splurge. I had to treat myself. I picked up a Coops pastel from Cutting Edge Herps, the one and only Vin Russo. It's the only way to do it, guys. You're absolutely welcome, man. Thank you for the great deal. Look at the colors on that, that's incredible. We are standing here with Richard from Da Vinci Boas, and he is showcasing us his uh, super fire white diamond, right? What an amazing animal it is, guys. Thank you. Look at this head. Oh man, I gotta get that in focus, She's please. She's almost like a hypo Stay still for me. She's hissing. That's a personality thing. I think he came Really? Yep. Wow, that's incredible, man. That one's wicked, too. That's a normal blackhead. She's very, very special. This one here? Yeah.
Wow, these are high end, man. And you know that's white to white. Look at that. Look how white that belly is. Wow. That's crazy. Okay, a little spaz. What are you doing? You stay. I think I can. Come on. Come on. Turn. Okay, dumpy butt. <laughs> yeah, you got stuck, huh? Uh huh. It's because they all want to shed and they're trying to scrape and rub and then they're like, oh man, now it's slipping and I can't turn back. We are standing here with Ray Gurgi of Thunder Bay Herps. And he is showcasing some of his higher white blue tongue skinks for us. I'm just going to show you a skink. <laughs> is this a northern blue tongue? Yep. Wow. The white's horrible. He came, little female from last year, turn a white, cross back to turn a white. Both parents were originally out for us already, so we're classic. My light cat classics. This one I really like. Yeah, that's gorgeous. It's, it's a really nice almost. reduced pattern on the back too, yeah. as compared to some of those other ones. Hopefully, it'll fade out more and more. Are you working on something like a like an all white skink or anything we can expect from you next year? Something special? Got them, but just the females are white. The males are. They don't have white males. Just have really. Ones. Wow. I Very really cool. I really try doing anything this year. I'm not. I don't know what I'm doing next year. I just <laughs> want to pay bills. <laughs> <laughs> I hear that. Well, you guys heard it from the man himself. Come and see him, Thunder Bay Herps. Holy cow. And you know it's the Andrew Siki bloodline because it has they, they swing back. Yeah, they do, the right down the like side. The swish. Everybody else, they go straight down because they're orange, orange. Put to get like normal to get more orange and more orange year after year, and they just go straight down. Andrews, they always have that swish. They outcross them already, and now this is the third generation of putting them back to the original. Very this cool. one incredible. It is gorgeous. And they got little dots in between. I don't, I don't think I've ever seen one like that. It's the one you want. It really is. How much are they going for? Uh, 1200 1200 Yeah, I'm keeping Get that price Get your business the card in there. Thunder Bay Herps. Perfect. Herpy. Herpy. <laughs> what kind of lizard is that? <laughs> this is a Savannah monitor, and he's about a year old. Wow, he's pretty big. Five to six feet. Very cool. What's up, buddy? All of these are insane. Oh my god. Only from the one and only Tom Burke, <laughs> right here at the Daytona Reptile Expo. such a great show. I could not have asked for a better turnout. We're going to catch up now with a couple of my friends and see if we can't find a new cage for my new pickup. We're walking around. We just stopped for some lunch and I just ran into Reptile Revolutions. What did you pick up today, man? Uh, I uh, got a male granite spotted python for my big female to breed next year. Oh my god, take it out. Let's see it. I haven't held it yet, so I don't know what his temperament is. Well, we'll find Hopefully out, will we? Oh, can't take it out? Oh, man. We're here with Hype Morse right now, and they got a couple pickups that they're going to share with you. Go ahead and show us what you guys picked up today, man. We ended up grabbing a Woma python. The awesome species from Australia. You don't see too many of these around anymore. And then we got this awesome albino hog nose. It almost looks like a superconda. 
super reduced pattern. It does, it does. Look at that head. It's incredible. Very cool. Thank you for sharing, guys. No problem, man. We got Big John Reptiles here holding Pipe Morphs Woma Python. Stretch it out for us. Look at that body. I was going to say, just the dip, the, yeah, the stripes on these things are just incredible. And there's a bunch of blackheads here too. They look very similar, just, you know, obviously they have that blackhead. Aquatic and exotic. It's Ian with Aquatic and Exotics. Come check them out. Daytona Reptile Breeders Expo. That's a sweetie. giant Mexican horn lizard, and that's a Yucatan spiny tail lizard, iguana they call them. It's small, but not a whole lot. That is a, that is a breeding adult. Now these, are these what they call horny toads? Exactly. Okay. Horny toads. The abronias, are they easy to handle? A girl or a boy? I think it's a girl. Let me see that tail. Pull that out. Wow, look at that. <laughs> look at the iridescence on that. That's beautiful, man. All right, guys, that wraps up day one of the Daytona National Breeders Expo. I could not have asked for a better turnout. We had some great interviews. We met some great people, and I just cannot explain how happy I am with, uh, with the way that turned out. I can't wait to share with you guys what I picked up, so stay tuned for another episode of Burton Vlogs coming soon.